Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. A couple of weeks ago I was asked about uh, all these compressor wheels laying in there on my bench and thought I'd show you here today what those are about. Basically, this is a stock wheel. This turbocharger. It's in there. It's like it's supposed to. And this pretty little thing here is a billet wheel. So these are cast, the stock ones. So they're they're kind of prone to some imperfections, and they'll explode on you more often than these wheel. Not that these billet wheels won't also explode, but uh, it's less common being that this is made out of pieces forged uh, aluminum and then machined uh, the idea is, is that of course aerodynamically it's more perfect so it performs better because it's it's everything's all equal there's no casting differences like there is on these so and then this wheel has slightly different dimensions than this wheel also and tractor pulling there's a common three inch rule on turbochargers and that's what this is is a three inch wheel or just barely under so that it meets the three inch class limit but it's still fifty thousands bigger than this wheel which is the stock one so what I gotta do is bore this housing out and profile the outside to match this because they're like I said they're different so I've got a uh, I've got a chart that I've made on this before from the from the bore and I turn by numbers and then smooth it back out so uh, I've got videos on that already showing that from a while back so I won't get too in detail to that on this project maybe on a different one these don't require much to uh, to get them to size this particular one some of them I do that you got to do a lot of contouring on so I may do that again in the future, but for now, I'll just uh, get this opened up and get this where it fits like it's supposed to, so let's get to it. about five more thou. I'll go with that. Yep, goes in there good. 
All I gotta do is back out and profile his bore. Right there looks excellent. As you can see that's right on. Try to get you a finished view down in here. It's 
And so you got minimal, but even clearance all the way down through there on the blade. That's how much rattling the housing. So, that's that. So there it is, all assembled and ready to go. Doesn't rub or anything. This is good. See that contoured clearance again there? Well, I hope you enjoyed that bit of uh, boring work there on the turbocharger, showing you what I do with those compressor wheels. It's a little bit of a tricky uh, deal to do without a tracer attachment. You know, that would probably be ideal where you can make the profile and then follow it on a manual machine, but uh, I've gotten pretty good over the years of uh, doing it by hand and, and uh, by the numbers and blending it in. So. It's been working for me, so that's what I stick with, because that's what I got. So, hope you enjoyed the project, and thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch y'all later.